And I want to first of all get your thoughts on, uh, we'll be getting to the fixed income market in a little bit, but what I'm hearing is that yields have come down significantly. And for the TB auction that we saw yesterday, yields are even below 12%. Now, my, my question to you is, if we begin to see yields at these levels, what does this mean for the equity market going into the, going for the rest of this year and, of course, going into the first quarter of next year? Okay. Um, thank you for having me once again. If yields continue going down, yes, we expect it to be positive for the equity market. We expect the equity market to do significantly well going to the end of the year. However, the major concern is the behavior of investors coming through to the end of the year and that's why we've not seen the equity market take huge advantage of the declining yields so far. Most of the investors currently would be thinking about taking profits at this moment but also if you look at how attractively valued the Nigerian equity market is and the securities in the Nigerian equity market you would want to expect and across the board um, appreciation, but that we have not seen so far. Like as you mentioned, we saw the likes of Nestle, First Bank, GT Bank, Zenit Bank, Nigerian Breeze appreciating, and that's because investors generally anchor on securities that they perceive too well. Remember that we're, we're getting towards the end of the year, and there is little time to correct any error you make in investment, and so you wouldn't really see investors delving into some um, on, on attractive or relatively unattractive securities or trying to gamble into some investment. So you would see um, secured plays in these names that you have mentioned. So we expect that to go to continue um, through the end of the year and the first quarter of next year. All right, so you're saying some risk aversion, even though people are still buying equities. Today we saw about 2.4 billion now. Um, what of trades in the market. Recently, we've seen a little more interest in the banks. And going into next year, I mean, what are your thoughts on the performance across sectors? Uh, particularly, maybe we can start with the banks. Let's get your thoughts on your expectations, more so with yields coming down now. Okay. Going into next year, the first point of call is um, investor sentiment. Investors generally would look towards short value rather than an uncertain gain. And what, what I mean by short value is investors generally would prefer dividends or bonuses than capital appreciation because that is uncertain. You really do not know um, where the security will appreciate to. So we expect um, the likes of First Bank, Nestle, GT Bank, Nigerian Breweries, and the other names that we know to continue to attract investors because they have a track record of paying good dividends or doing bonuses. So generally, that's what I expect to see um, going into the first quarter of next year. Second quarter and third quarter might be different, but investors will be positioning to take um, advantage of those corporate actions. All right, so in the light of the news we're hearing around Dangote Cement, I want to get your thoughts on that sector. Um, clearly, there seems to be uh, some new supply of imports hitting the market and um, Dangote now deciding to shut down as much as 4 million metric tons of production. Your thoughts on that sector right now, it's, it's a sector that a lot of people have spoken very highly about. Going into next year, there's a view that we yeah. should see that sector do well. What are your thoughts? Yes, I still think that the, the sector is still very attractive and the reason is the, the huge infrastructure deficit in the country. Yes, um, due to the shutdown of the plant, we expect slow um, revenue growth for Dangote Cement, but I don't really think that is a sustainable event. So it's a one-off event and we expect Dangote Cement being so strong and focusing on their expansion plan, considering that you have the likes of Wapco, you have the likes of Ashaka, we expect that industry to do extremely well going forward, especially that the federal government is also keen in infrastructure development. Well, your thoughts on the macro side, of course, I mean, that's where we all, that's where it all starts, your thoughts on the economy, and we just got back from the Nigeria Economic Summit. I think some people are cautiously optimistic, there's a view that, well, Nigeria seems like a good idea, but there's very slow progress in key areas such as infrastructure development, education, etc. So your thoughts? on the macro side of things? On the macro side, I think the president has done, has done relatively well in trying to express 
um, the development plans of the nation. Yes, there are some concerns about security, there are some concerns about misappropriation of funds, but we think that the government's drive and the government's focus is to move the country forward. If you have a government that has that focus, then the only thing we can do at this moment is to try to back the government and try to see where we can take advantages of um, these plays that are opening up as the nation continues to grow. So I think the microeconomic front is positive at the moment.